Hey everybody, we're the Nerds and we're here today at a yurt. We're at a yurt, y'all. Our first time staying in a yurt. Uh, we have our first taste of kind of glamping. And this yurt is actually just minutes away from Dollywood. So you're in the heart of Dollywood right mm -hmm. here. Heart of Pigeon Forge pretty much. And you ready, stuff? I'm ready. Let's check out this yurt, y'all. Let's go. Just pulled up outside of the yurts now. It's our first time staying in a yurt. As you can see, they have multiple yurts in the area here. They're also building cabins in the area. Eventually they have a pool here, walking trails. So it's gonna make a whole little area that they're working on out here. It's gonna be awesome when they're done. So here's the trail right to our yurt. You can park right out front of your yurt here. So our car is right here beside me and there's other cars parked kind of uh, parallel in front there. And then here's the yurt. Also a cabin up there as well, it looks really nice. I'm not sure if someone lives there, if that's for rent, but I love this. It's Mary Berry, so it's got the red and the green. It's a Christmas yurt. You can already kind of see on the railings back there, there's Christmas lights twinkling. Uh, so this is yurt number 30. And we're gonna head inside our yurt here. Let's see if stuff's in here. Hey, Steph, can I come into your yurt? You can come into my yurt. Awesome. So we're going to just kind of do a walking around tour here for the yurt and show you what this place has to offer. It's really neat. So just to tell you real quick what a yurt is, I just want to use the website here to make sure I get it 100% correct. So it's our first time doing a yurt. It's kind of like camping a little bit, but this, definitely this is more of the this glamping is more style. more the glamping, yeah, so This is for like sure. a luxury yurt is what I would call it. Uh, so it's a portable, lightweight, round structure where the roof is held up under a combination of tension and compression compression with no major center supports needed. Yep. So if you look at like the wall right here, you can see that's kind of the outside there. It's probably about that thick maybe. Mm -hmm. And there's and a lattice have support there. Lattice walls and then it's uh, a, a compression tension. and tension support mm -hmm. with the rafters up there. And it's an ancient form, a portable shelter structure originating thousands of years ago in the steeps of Central Asia. Wow, that's cool. And so at the top of the yurt up here, we'll show it to you as we can. You can kind of see that. the uh, porthole up top, which is designed for the yurt to get natural light, either from the moon from at nighttime the, the moonlight or, or the sunlight. sunlight. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool. And uh, all modern day North American yurts are modeled after the uh, GER dot murder, modern yurt manufacturers like Shelter Designs. I was just talking about a little bit of the company there. It's all compression and tension, lattice walls, roofs held up with no, no real structure in the middle. And it's just really neat. So we'll link this description below. Uh, this website in the description below it talks about yurts a little bit. So you can understand more about what a yurt is if you're not sure. It's our first time under, you know, reading about it and learning about it. And then we'll also link below the owners here that have this website for these yurts. We've already spoke to the owners here and talked to the property manager. And they are friendly and sunny is an amazing person so we've been doing talking with sunny already so shout out to sunny without further ado let's show you the year so i just want to let you know kind of more about what a year it is this as like says a learning experience for us this is mary berry so right as you come in christmas tree love it year round right now it is february so i'm just going to show you christmas year round so you got a couple of chairs right here you got a cool little bear themed lamp so you come in sit down that's Stephanie right there, Don't wake the bear. So for real, for real, <laughs> that is me in the morning. And like, you made me think like, oh, if I got a small bathroom, small area, I'm about to show you this bathroom. Here. Look at this thing. Now the original yurt's bathrooms were outside, I believe. Right. But this one's huge. Modern. Yeah. Oh so, yeah, I mean you have you had a bear eating uh, some some leaves there. That's not me. <laughs> not Stephanie. <laughs> Uh, you got this nice shower, nice tile in here. Oh, very nice. Head. You got the wand, the separate shower head. So it's very, very nice. Standard toilet over here. Mm -hmm. uh, there is blinds to pull down on this window over here. 
I just want to show it to you. This, this is a beautiful window right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that glass in there. All these windows do prop open too. If you want some more uh, either heat or air, depending on what time of year it is, you can. And then over here, I'll step out of the way. You just have your standard sink. And then there's a really nice setup in here. Mm -hmm. Back to the main entrance area now from the bathroom. So you have your washer and dryer over here. Good size washer and dryer. You have an iron there as well. And then I love this fireplace in the yurt. It's electric. So you just have the buttons in the front to turn it all in. I love this too. Like, you know, I love artwork. So right above it, you have the bear here, the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. I think this truck. is one of the, my favorite ones that I've seen. Yeah, I love that. It's Great Smoky Mountain Sorry, National Park. Sorry, the Christmas tree lights are kind of. Oh, is it? Yeah. And then uh, I guess turn back around to see the Christmas tree again. Thermostats on the wall. There's some rules or just information, I guess, not so much rules. Wi Fi password, all that stuff right there. Sign right behind it. Go take a hike. <laughs> And so we'll go up to this part last, but these spiral staircases go up to the loft area, which is really neat up there. Uh, we do take a peek up there, so I'll go up there in a minute and show it to you. Bedrooms right here, got the barn style sliding door, which I like quite a bit. And then we'll show you the bedroom in here. And coming over here into the bedroom, there's the bed right there. You have windows in here. You have the fan up there. So it can help with uh, with the heating and or, or I guess help with the cooling, <laughs> not heating. Uh, so you do have your clock over here, TV or milk control. I uh, have that little lantern style lamp, which is really cool. I like the old oil lamps there on the bottom. I like that quite a bit. Some more artwork on the wall there. Got a couple more pictures over here. You have a TV over here. You have a little bench down here to sit on and put your shoes on if you need to. There's a couple of box fans if you need it in here. And this is your closet right here. So places to hang uh, your clothes at. You also have all these little hooks on the wall here. So plenty of options there. You got a couple of blankets up top if you need them. Another window looking back out front there. Look at this cool clock on the wall. Uh, I don't know if this is actually antique or not, but it looks really neat. I love that. That's cool. So a nice size bed in here. Nice uh, bedroom in here. And heading back out to this area now. This is going to be the kitchen area, the living area. So right here bar side or bar seating right here these are heavy sometimes you get some bar stools that are like should i be sitting on them doing the wobble you know these things right here they're solid i may do a dance on and them. i just noticed they have two cabinet doors that actually open in a drawer that pulls out um down here oh that's nice they're so really maximizing all the space there yeah and there's two doors here as well that's really nice so here you got your uh, standard uh fridge refrigerator you know full size very nice and then trash can here, even at a bar style seat over here, then a window. You have all your coffee mugs here. The inside here is going to be your standard things. You know, there's a mixer in here, a uh, can opener, anything you may need to start baking with. Those open, they're yeah, yeah. Kind of hard to get. So there's some uh, dishes and things to bake they're with. They're fully stocked. I've already <laughs> plundered, <Yeah. laughs> and these cabinets are fully stocked. Uh, stove really, is very nice. Really nice stove. All your utensils on top. You do have your Keurig here. It's already got some coffees here too. McCafe premium roast. That's nice. Uh, toaster over there. Uh, you got your glasses in here. We'll just show you a couple more cabinets to show you all they have in here. You got your pots and pans up here. Like Stephanie said, it's just fully stocked. Nice size sink. You already have your dishwashing liquid. You have your detergent here. You have some towels. And they also have the uh, paper towels here to go get you started microwave all your knives and everything again there's just all these cabinets are just full of things tupperware mm -hmm. plates look behind probably. you though at this oh wow mm -hmm. great smoky mountains national park so there's a tennessee north carolina border right there oh look at the top there trail up top tells you the profile of it so you've got like low gap you have laurel top i wonder much of a mount lacan's probably in there somewhere cleanland's dome uh, there's Cades Cove right there. You could probably spend 30, Been 40 there minutes. Time too, oh, there's Cleveland's too. Dome right here. Oh, look. So this is to Knoxville, Maryville. And there's a uh, water view of it right here from Knoxville, Asheville. Didn't show you the Smoky Mountains right there. This is really nice. Oh, I, I spy. Uh, what do you spy? Oh, a hot tub on a deck. Look at uh, that. That's going to be great. Uh, so over here living room and uh as you can see lots of light in here already 
So and there's that here. skylight again. So yeah, you do have that. It's a cloudy day. So if you're ever concerned about like lighting in here, they still have plenty of lights. Like today there's not much sun, but man, you can see everything in here. So there's no concerns like that. Okay. You have a table and two lamps over here. Hold on. I'm going to pause here really quick. Not oh. pause here, but. What do we do? I'm going to go to my favorite thing in this whole oh. room. Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Really quick. So this little guy is holding the Wi-Fi password, but it is a bear in a tuxedo <laughs> wearing a top hat. Love it. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. I want one of those in our living room corner. What you looking at? I was looking around. So yeah, we love that and the little bear there. So uh, living room, you got your two uh, two tables, two lamps there. I'm going to try to turn one on, but I will. You got your couch right here. I love this too. It's kind of the snowshoes, the skis, the ski poles. So just kind of makes you feel like you're in the mountains. You got a table here with a little book on here. Look at this. It's a guest book. And yeah, you've seen guest books before, but guess what it says in the front? What? Life is better than a yurt guest book. <laughs> so that's our first time seeing a yurt. We'll have to sign that in here a little bit. Uh, you have a nice little chair here, a little stool there, Stephanie's friend. We'll call him Toffee the Bear. What are you looking over there? Welcome to our den. Mm -hmm. And then you have uh, Toppy the Bear over here. And we'll call him Toppy the Top Hat. Oh, I okay. <laughs> Uh, of the dog out in the cabin with the snow on it and everything. It looks really cool. Cool picture, but y'all, again. <laughs> Toppy. 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 And then back over here, you have your TV. You're going to have your cable box over here. Uh, just nice little area. Down below, so there's a couple of games in there. It looks like maybe a coloring thing for the kids as well. And so that's pretty much the yurt. We're going to show you outside, and then we'll go upstairs as well after that and show you uh, the upstairs part. We are outside on the yurt deck now. I accent the word yurt. Let's say yurt and everything I do now. So you have a the... table out here. You could probably just put two people on the bench if you really want to. At least seats four, maybe eight if you squeeze in there. You have a gas grill over there. So that's really nice to have the gas grill. And this is a nice size deck. So we've got some fire scenes and trees in here and everything. And as you can tell too, on the railings here, a little twinkle lights. So this is for the Mary Bear because it's Christmas theme. Yeah, we'll try to show you guys this at night. That's really cool. And then uh, I'm going to head over this side over here. And just so you see. see. Yeah. yeah, that goes around to the front. So this is the full yurt material. Again, it seems to be about <laughs> seems to be about that thick or so. We can kind of tell. There's the yurt material. We've still got some little awnings over your windows there. So definitely a modernized yurt for sure. You I'd say we're glamping. Glamping, yeah. You have two nice chairs over here. Two nice <laughs> chairs over here. I was looking what's on the back. I'll see what's this. You have a really nice hot tub here. It's 100 degrees right now. Oh, yeah. It feels good. Get the jets. You're going to get in that tonight. I think there may be more settings for the jets, possibly. We'll, there we go. I'll have to figure all that out. Oh, goodness. And uh, just so y'all know, there's a cleaning fee here. There's also a hot tub cleaning fee. So the, all together they clean everything so it's not just like the water's been here they actually drain it clean it and everything and then we're going to walk to this side i just want to show you one thing over here so again you have to come inside the yurt to, to get, get to, to the, the deck. deck yes so look, it does kind of wrap around but you can't get it over here and i'll show you There's that the bench to sit here and this is kind of your view right here and then there's our neighbor's yurts over there so it's very private very peaceful up here and then this is the glass. The glass right here for the bathroom. So you can see you can't see in. I just want to show you again how beautiful that looks. That's just a small touch. You didn't have to add. You could have done a frosted or a film or something. Uh, you have another bench right here. And then you have our pathway here. We came in onto the front of the yurt. And so I mean, the front. maybe if you're Spider-Man. Uh huh. You can squeeze through there, but or hop over if you really want to. But yeah, <laughs> it's pretty to. much preventing everybody from getting over. So this is really nice, and we're we're up here. You'll see it goes goes down. Those trees will grow up over time too, I'm sure. Yeah. So we're gonna head back inside. We'll go up to the top now and show you the loft area. If we don't spiral out of control going those stairs there, so they look very sturdy, very cool in the metal. Look at those mountains. I don't know if you can see it on camera if it pulls through, but through those trees. You can see beautiful mountains. Yep, and then also this way. Yeah, then we'll show you directly ahead. So where this hot tub is, basically, straight ahead over that little hill there is Dollywood. 
So Dollywood, if I was walking as the crow flies, <laughs> maybe five minute walk. I mean, it's that close. So when they start building the walking trails, I don't know where the walking trails are going to be all through here. There is a little bit of a walking trail over there I'll try to show you. When I walked on it earlier, I could see Dollywood just a few minutes of a walk from here. So Dollywood's literally over there. And don't quote me on it, but whenever they do the drone and fireworks show, it may be able to get high enough over top. You know, That's we won't a good be here point. That time. It might be, yeah. But yeah, if you're staying here when Dollywood's open, look at the fireworks schedule and look at the uh, summer celebration drone schedule. Uh, and you may be able to see some of it, at least the fireworks, I think, for sure. Drones may be a little bit lower. We have made it to the top of the stairs now. That little spiral staircase is pretty cool coming up. Got another tree up here. I love having all the Christmas trees up here. That's just really neat. Ties into the Mary Berry theme quite a bit. This whole loft area is kind of like a kid's area, but also for big kids and adults like us. So the first thing you probably notice is this giant skylight up here. So traditionally, yurts have this up top. So this is awesome to be able to look out and see the stars at nighttime. Right now we can see the clouds and everything. That's just really cool. And we'll just start right over here. You have a TV here. You have the bean bags here. So again, great for the kids. On this side here, you've got the Great Smoky Mountains National Park sign. You do have a couple of these little... Uh, those bears wearing suits. It does look like it's a bear. It's got a bow tie on. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's really cute. Yeah. And, um, and then over here you got the logs, like this little stump you can play with. Look at that. You got a, a little s'more. That's actually start your fire. Guess, you? That's a matchstick, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Start my little fire. There we go. That is really cute. Yeah, you got a table up here, lamp. You have a nice size couch up here to sit on. I think tonight we're going to be sitting up here. Look at them stars. Oh, for sure. That's really neat. It's been raining all day, so I hope the clouds kind of go away and we can see some pretty stars tonight. And then you do have a fan up here. And then if you can see it, I love this artwork. Great Smoky Mountains National Park Service, North Carolina, Tennessee, 1934. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And there's down those spiral stairs and the kitchen over there. It's later at night right now and the storm has arrived. I want to be quiet for a second here and let y'all hear this. That sounds... Oh my goodness! It sounds awesome. What is happening? It sounds like a tin roof type rain, but amplified by a lot more. So I hope y'all can hear that on camera, but it sounds... It sounds amazing. This is gonna be cool. Especially if you're going to sleep with this, that'd be really nice. Good morning, everybody. The next morning, and we're still in the yurt. So it's mm -hmm. checkout day, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is a cool stay. What do you think, Steph? I love it. I was a little nervous to stay in a yurt, albeit like it's it's beautiful. It's a luxury yurt. We're not roughing it. We have electricity, running water, um, but still, I was a little nervous. Um, I absolutely loved it. It was, you know, we only had one night here. The only thing I would say is I want more. I want to come back. It stormed all night. We couldn't get in the hot tub. We couldn't enjoy the deck as much as we wanted to. We couldn't grill out. So I want to come back for two, three, four, five days and just relax, you know? But it was absolutely a great day. Yeah. Yeah, I enjoyed the year. It was cool last night with the storm and kind of the, the walls <laughs> blowing. You could hear there. Yeah. It's like the tin roof rain, but amplified by a lot more. So it's really neat to see that. And I mm -hmm. love the little loft area that's up there. You can kind of see right there. That's really cool. The porthole. Couldn't see clouds or couldn't see much stars last night because as long as you see it's like clouds or just yeah. darkness. Uh, but on a clear night, it'd be awesome. Uh, just a really good, comfortable stay in the yurt. You know, again, this is like a luxury yurt. So it's not like your typical no heat, no air. Maybe the bathroom's outside. This is all full glamping or luxury yurting. <laughs> I don't know if it's a new term I just invented. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, highly recommend it. Um, since we've been here, we've probably got four or five different text messages just checking on us, making sure everything's good. So just the staff here is over the top. Yeah, oh. and they are building a whole resort here. They are adding to it their uh, tree houses, cabins. Tree house villas, um, what they called. A clubhouse area with a pool, maybe? Yeah, they're going to add a pool at so, some point, walking trails, yeah. uh, cabins, and they're building that. We hope to come back in the future to highlight and showcase some of that for y'all. For sure. And uh, get you, I'll let you know what our experience is. Mm -hmm. All the information in the description below will be in the description below. Yeah, we'll link their site down below. Yeah, so we'll talk about the video about the tree house villages mm -hmm. that they have, or tree house cabins, and then... Uh, all how to book the cabins here and everything so yeah um, and the proximity to everything like to the actual parkway um to dolly to dollywood like lit two if miles you left here that, went to dollywood you would be there 
probably three minutes. It's amazing. Yeah. It's a great location. So I highly recommend it. I would check it out if I were and the price isn't bad. Yeah. Not bad. Compared at all. to the local hotels. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. So definitely check it out. Links in the description below. Mm -hmm. And we have yurted it up now. So the yurts are done. Until next time. The nerds are <laughs> out.